Whoops. Wag one fam, I'm King Ross, you're my low subjects, and if you did not get that intro, it's the fact that WCPW Bulletproof started a full 48 minutes later than it was scheduled to. <laughs> it's not really funny though, is it? It was a f***ing disgrace. And with that, here are all the WTF moments from WCPW Bulletproof. Here we f***ing go. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm that Schreiber alongside Dave Bradshaw. People are on their feet, the prestige are here, the storage of Essex are here, and of course, the boys are in the building. The Bullet Club comes your way tonight. Yes, we were live from the Bowlers Exhibition Centre in Manchester, England, which, as you can tell by the sound quality there, was several leagues under the sea. <laughs> what a fantastic start. Yes, as you can all probably tell, we chose to have the show from the Bowlers Exhibition Centre in Manchester, several leagues under the she, 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 sea, because, darling, it's better down where it's wetter under the sea. Yes, as you can see by all the examples up there, the Titan Tron and Bulletproof didn't work for bear time. It's one of the many reasons why we started. 48 minutes late, no less, and it just took bad time to start working. WTF. Now, this is a WTF moment because the last time we were in the Bowlers Exhibition Centre, which is several leagues under the sea, in Manchester, England, we hosted the show Cold Lights Out, which ironically was the brightest, most pizzazzy, most fajazzled show in WCPW history. The biggest troll we even had, Pyro, yet Martin Kirby, who was the GM at the time and is still my favourite wrestler, <laughs> decided to call it lights out. Bulletproof was drenched in irony because none of the lights worked, even though we held a show called Lights Out where all of the lights worked and then some. Ha ha ha! Oh, I think uh, Crossbane are applying to join the club. You can't be saying that, Div. Do you want us to get hoofed in the Cadbury Alley by WWE's legal team? As we all know, the club is probably more than likely a licensed term by WWE with Carl Anderson and Styles and Gallows and blah, 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 blah. Now, as WCPW's conscience, I'd like to clarify the DBL, Mr. Dave Bradshaw himself, meant to say that Prospect wanted to join the Bullet Club and not the Club Bullet Club. Something way different to the club in WWE. Don't sue us, please. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, it's your own partner, mate. Scotty going to dive? What is this? They're encouraging Scotty to dive on his own partner. The, the, the tag titles, though. Oh, stupid, stupid Scotty. Well, hang on, JRK, which spells jerk, in my opinion, to be sticking his nose in. Right, it's time for some mother grammar slam with King Ross for the sole benefit of my best friend, Matthew James Cuthbert Stryker. What are you, Stryker? A teenage bird who implements text talk into everyday life? Get a fucking grip, man. Jerk isn't spelled J-R-K, even if it is phonetically. Jerk is spelled G-E-R-K. You jerk. Take your and drink. We are going to Orlando. you kill something that's already dead? The account of Osprey is far richer than the account of what culture. Are you dizzy blood? It appears that Viper's taken all of us here at what culture? For a mook. Miss Viper, darling, have you seen the names we've brought in during the first nine months of WCPW's history? I mean, there's been a load. Just to demonstrate how much money we have, I'm going to get my close personal friend Hobo Joe to shower me in the merch money I've made this week alone. And I'm starting here on Monday evenings. This is just Monday's merch money. I'll go and get them. Two seconds. Right, Hobo Joe, merch money box, get on that chair and drizzle it on me like the money shot that it is. <sighs> Monday, clickbait duckets for the win! This is a young lady I did not see, but I'm happy to see her here right now! The Queen Bee! Tessa Blanchard is in the building! WTF! Yeah, wipe the smirk off Banks' face!
You see even more evidence that Bulletproof should have been called Lights Out. Lights Out, of course, the brightest show ever in WCPW history. Yeah. Come on, kid. Sick, man. The whole show will be available on YouTube on Saturday evening, 7 p.m. free on the What Culture Pro Wrestling YouTube channel. Now, Dave, stop driving all the marks to the wrong place. For flip's sake, the parts after the live version has aired will be on the WCPW YouTube channel, but the live version itself will be aired on What Culture Wrestling, not WCPW, because WCPW has 140 odd thousand subscriber. What Culture Wrestling has over a million. Where are you gonna air a live thing, Dave? Think about it, blood. Now, this doesn't matter about the English qualifiers because you've already seen them. They were last Saturday, but for the Scottish ones that this Friday 7 p.m. What Culture Wrestling? This Friday 7 p.m. What Culture Wrestling? This Friday. But there's a new player entering the arena, and he is. This was you, wasn't it, you dirty mark? You didn't expect Christopher Daniels, did you? You blotted all over the shop, you dirty bastard. And I gotta tell you, that there is no seepage coming through on that bandage. And while it may seem small, this also prevents sweat from getting into Adam Cole's eyes. So do eyebrows match. What the flip are you talking about? Daniels and Zack Sabre Jr. have two working eyebrows which stop the sweat dripping into your eyes. That's why they're there. Not just to make you look like you've got a couple of caterpillars chasing each other across your forehead. Where's the advantage there, Matt? Stop talking silly bollocks or I'll fight you. which go way above this sexual crown. I have no reason why we can't use Drew Galloway's original independent scene theme. But there's absolutely no doubt it's when the lovely Simon who cues up all the music and then plays it to all you marks as the superstars make their way down the ramp. There was one thing that he and all the people around him said in unison, and that was... WCPW likes big sweaty men. WCPW likes big sweaty men. WCPW likes big sweaty men. Blumpy, you dirty bastard. Proving internet virgins, wrong moment of the week. Why not, if that is even your real name? Why not? Why don't you f off with your sh that you're spilling all over YouTube for all the marks to see? Title change at Bulletproof confirmed because Blompier or whoever the flip did that announcement video didn't announce that Galloway specifically would be going up against Rampage for the WCPW Championship. Ever heard of spoilers, you spotty little mark? We're keeping you suspense, huh? What the f does suspense I mean go to school and stop blotting all over the place? It's bad for your brain and your eyesight and all sorts. As LB90 up there correctly states, why the flip will we be giving away any hints to what the results were going to be before a live show? Think about it instead of f***ing, I'll just go away. So that's it for all your WTF moments from WCPW, Bulletproof WCPW. Bye-bye. <laughs>